going on YouTube? This is Cletus. Just shooting a quick video. I get uh, occasional questions about my water dishes. People like these. There's my blood python chilling in there. And the setup. The other one, that guy's hiding right here. He thinks we can't see him. It's his head right there. But, uh, these water dishes are just uh, Pyrex dishes with covers that you get from Walmart. Here's a littler one. If you get them on sale, they're very inexpensive. They're glass, so they're easy to clean. I cut out the lid like that so that uh, they drag less substrate into their water. And, uh, They're, you know, shallow, heavy, so they don't spill very easy. Check this one out. Try not to disturb it, but yeah, it's probably an inch and a half deep, and this one's I'd say about six by nine. And this one's probably. 8 by 10 we'll say. I don't know, I got the three pack of these on sale for $7.99. So that's less than three bucks a piece. And these are great for, I've got a couple of them I'm going to use for my adult hogs, but they're good for younger, smaller pythons. And these ones, I don't think I paid more than six or seven dollars a piece, but if you've ever bought a water dish of comparable size at a pet store they're a lot more than that you know something that'll hold that much water you're probably looking at 15 20 bucks for a pet, at a pet store um, you know they don't have the natural look to them but I have a hard time not using them because they're just so functional I did play around at one point this is the first one I got and set up I completely covered the top in silicone and pressed eco earth and sphagnum moss to it but eventually the whole mat ended up just kind of peeling off so I don't know if anybody has any better ideas of how to accomplish that if you do feel free to chime in that would be great I do love the to do a natural looking and feeling environment it'd be really nice if I could clean that up Try to make it as natural as possible. More quick. This is a hide I made using the same technique. This is going to be for a carpet python. It's just a, uh, you know, a gladware tote, whatever. And covered it in silicone and. On the sides, I did mostly eco earth, and on the top, just some dried green moss. And I jammed some sphagnum moss in the the lip around the bottom, and it's just going to be able to sit there. It'll provide a nice perch on the top and multi-access point hide underneath. So oh, another water dish I get a lot of questions and comments on is in my green tree python enclosure. This is Bindi, my two-year-old female Biot green tree python. In her bioactive naturalistic enclosure. I'll touch on that on a different video, but this is her perchanted water dish. I've seen her drinking from it many times. Uh, it's a made for bird, I don't know, food or water. But uh, basically, what I did is the flat washer that comes with it so that you can mount it to the bird cage. I siliconed onto the back vertically instead of horizontally. And these, some of this, I think 3M makes it. I'll give her fresh water. That's, uh, an industrial 
Velcro. Try to get a good close up on it. It's not actually Velcro like the normal. There's the hard prickly side and the soft fuzzy side. Both sides are identical in this stuff. And they're like hard plastic nubs. Let's see if I get it better. That's a little better. But it's very strong stuff. It says it'll support it at 10 pounds per inch. There's about three inches on there. So I think it'll do the job. And so far all has gone very well. So I just used the adhesive that came on the back of that to mount it to the metal and then to the glass. Always remember to clean anything you're gonna glue anything to very thoroughly, preferably with a solvent such as Windex or I'll use either Windex or alcohol, just like 70% dilution. Clean any dirt off. Glue doesn't stick to dirt. It'll stick to glass and stick to metal. Doesn't stick to dirt so well. As you can see from spraying this down, I'm getting some water spots. Just a uh, little vinegar on a paper towel and I can wipe that right off. I clean it every once in a while. So uh, keep an eye out for vids on this girl. I'll do a update vid on her whole enclosure. You can check out the three-part series on how I initially built this and set this up and check out my Facebook page uh, DIY today there's all sorts of cool fun stuff to do make your own reptile enclosures modify existing enclosures um, me and a couple guys run it and uh, it's a pretty cool website we do some fun stuff and uh, actually that's where I'm gonna post this video but thanks for watching and hope you check out more of my videos bye